Okay, this is the uh, next video, of course. I had to fast forward through a lot of the boring stuff, just mostly research and uh, manufacturing. And just blowing a hole in the wall there so we can get through that, uh, get into that house a little easier. Uh, got some new toys to play with, them, I guess. Um, notably the med kit and laser rifle. The laser weapons are really nice because they don't require any ammunition, of course. Not exactly sure how that works. you think they would run out of energy eventually. But, hey, I'm not going to question. Power-wise, damn it, I do that all the time. Power wise, the uh, laser rifles, laser weapons as a whole, uh, pale in comparison to the plasma weapons, but they tend to require, uh, I believe they take a bit less in terms of uh, turn unit cost of fire. Other than that, the only other advantage is the, of course, having to uh, not worry about carrying around extra ammunition. You took out the second floor when I wanted you to take out the first, but that's okay. Oh yeah, Robo Mega Stick Man. Uh, since Mega Stick Man is a pretty good friend of mine and he well, that was technically his fault, but, um, he died kind of unfairly, so I decided to give him another, another chance, we just rebuilt him. Let's check all these guys, make them run out. I have a lot of rookies now, but Cloud are all. Terrible name. Who, yeah, I've said that before, but I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. What in God's name would possess you to name yourself? Your online avatar. Fodderoff. Fodderoff is bad enough, but proceeding in those uh, X's. I just kind of uh, license the cake. Exploring this house. I doubt there's anyone in it. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone in it so far. Go wall pancake. Flatterah. Sounds like the name of somebody who might, you know drop a live hand grenade at their feet. Accidentally, of course. Now the over here. Yeah, I'm almost certain this house is empty. Yep, it's empty. Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. There could be somebody upstairs. Let's take this wall out so we can go all the way around. <clears throat> yes, crouch behind that hay bale. That will do you a load of good against plasma explosives. Um, something you might not have noticed, but, uh, you are... Oh, a good shot there. And they actually shot at my cannon fodder for once. 
But as I was saying, if you are uh, issuing a, a move order and having your one of your soldiers move around, and the screen is still more or less centered on them, it will do that whole walking animation and take much longer. But if you uh, zoom off screen, it won't, and they'll just kind of warp, or it seems like they warp. Here's the med kit. Thankfully they shot cannon fodder and didn't kill her so we can show it off. Yep, it heals fatal wounds. The other two options are painkiller and stimulant. See she has no more fatal wounds there. She didn't recover a tiny bit of health back too. Uh, painkillers, I believe, restore the morale. Um, lost morale is the bottom purple bar. There is somebody in that top bar. Uh, Painkillers restore the morale, as I was saying. And the stimulant can be used to uh, awaken unconscious units. You can fall unconscious in several different ways. Uh, getting hit by a, a stun bomb, usually. Standing around in a cloud of smoke too long will also uh, cause that little blue bar that's overlaid on your uh, red bar of health. That little blue bar, when that passes, reaches or passes the amount of uh, health you have in your health bar, your character will lose consciousness. Alright, going fairly well so far. 